Let's start today talking about policy. Let's talk about health care. We'll start with Obamacare. There's actually I know that at this point, many of the people in my audience no longer see Obamacare as this growth, as this sort of like wart that you could freeze off and be left with the rest of our health care system. Most of us, I think, because it's been around for 14 years at the end of the day, now see our health care system as simply having integrated elements of what is in Obamacare when it comes to pre existing conditions, when it comes to the marketplaces, et cetera. There are still those on the right primarily who want to get rid of Obamacare as if you could just shave it off like the little top of the carrot that many of us don't eat or whatever analogy or metaphor makes sense. I'm going to argue that that would no longer be possible. Obamacare is just part of our system. And the Washington Post reports, as on the one hand, we know that Donald Trump is again promising to get rid of Obamacare in 2025, 2026. I don't know when he would do it if he becomes president again. On the other hand, Obamacare enrollment has hit a record level. There's a piece in The Washington Post by Dan Diamond. I encourage you to read it. It's quite short. And it says, more than 21 million people have signed up for health care plans through the Affordable Care Act's health insurance marketplaces, announced Wednesday. The record level of enrollment comes as former President Trump is vowing to repeal the program. Signups in the health insurance marketplaces, a jump of five million since last year and the third straight year of record enrollment were partly driven by states unwinding pandemic era protections in Medicaid with millions of people culled from the safety health uh, safety net health program. The enrollment figures reflect an 80 percent surge in signups for the ACA since Biden took office and expanded subsidies. Now, I want to remind everybody Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act are the same thing. I say that not to patronize, but because we've seen these Kafka esque videos where uh, right wingers will be asked, hey, are you in favor of or against Obamacare? And they go, oh, I'm against it's a government take Marxist. And then they go, OK, fine. And what about the Affordable Care Act? Oh, yeah, that's good. No, I'm for affordable care. That, that sounds fine. It's the same thing. And I say that just to put it on the record so we don't have any confusion, no matter who may be watching. At this point in time, we have a situation where tens of millions of people, partially thanks to Joe Biden's expansions of this program, are signing up in record numbers. And meanwhile, remember, Donald Trump wants to end this. Donald Trump posted to Troth Central a few weeks ago, quote, I don't want to terminate Obamacare. I want to replace it which much, with much better health care. Obamacare sucks. Well, he does want to terminate it. It's just that he wants to put something else in the best proposal they had for what to put in instead would have led to tens of millions of people losing health care who had it. So we need a reframe on this entire Obamacare thing. The idea of Obamacare as a standalone element is just farcical at this point in time in 2024. And remember, by the time Trump could get his hands on it, it would be 2025, maybe even later. The idea of just chopping off Obamacare as a separate and distinct entity is completely unrealistic. It's been 14 years. Obamacare provisions are completely integrated into our health care system. They have reformed insurance. They've led to expanded Medicaid in many states, states where the governors went along with it. Remember, that's the other aspect to this. There are people in red states huffing and puffing. Obamacare didn't do anything for me. Well, that's because your governor didn't do the Medicaid expansion that was available to them. Uh, marketplaces created rules such as insurance companies can no longer deny you coverage because of pre existing conditions. Millions are relying on this. Imagine if you could somehow eliminate Obamacare at this point in time, the level of disruption to the health care system. It would affect the insurance companies. It would affect the health care providers. It would be absurd. And we really need to be making clear that the argument around should we or shouldn't we get rid of Obamacare? This is a decades too late argument. Any effort to dismantle the Affordable Care Act would be absurdly complex when it comes to how it would affect both providers and recipients of health care. 
It would face massive legislative hurdles in both the federal and state level. It would require new law. At this point, the idea that we're going to go back to the 2010 Congress and say we're canceling Obamacare, you couldn't even do that. You would need copious new legislation to do it. It would be complex. It would be contentious in any divided Congress. It is going absolutely nowhere. And by the way, if you care about the economy, if you care about economic stability for better or worse, and I think that the fact that we have a for profit health care system is a bad thing, but the Affordable Care Act also affects so many aspects of the economy, the health care industry and employment, state budgets. If you could somehow dismantle it, the economic repercussions would be so widespread. So we need more change. We need to improve the system. There have been changes made to the affordable. But by the way, another reason that going back and saying we're canceling the 2010 law, the, the reason another reason you couldn't do that is that over the last 14 years, there have been so many tweaks to the Affordable Care Act framework, many of them done under the Biden administration for the better. This includes legislative changes, executive changes. The law is even more ingrained in the health care system. So understand once again, we're it's 2016 all over again. I'll build a wall across the entire border with Mexico and Mexico will pay for it. Anyone with a, a, a shred of common sense knew that that wasn't going to happen. It is equally unrealistic for Trump to now say we're going to cancel Obamacare. However, he should still suffer the consequences of promising and wanting to do something so ridiculous. But Obamacare is now just part of our health care system. If you want to improve it, change it, whatever, we have to go forward from where we are today, not from where we were in 2010, as shocking as that may be to some people. Data brokers are constantly collecting huge amounts of information about what you do online, your address, phone number, email, financial info, even your political affiliation. And they sell that information to other companies. The FBI will sometimes even buy data in bulk to get information about Americans without a warrant. Your ex-girlfriend, your boss, anyone out there can use the publicly available data on search sites to find information about you. It's super easy. And worst of all, these data broker systems get hacked all the time, which really puts your data at risk, which is why you can end up getting scam calls and emails and the whole thing. The solution to all of this is our sponsor Incogni. Incogni sends data removal requests to all major data brokers who are required by law to remove the information upon request. If any of the information stays online, Incogni will follow up about removal and Incogni keeps you updated with details every step so you know what's going on and when the info is removed. What Incogni can accomplish is amazing. I use it myself. Go to incogni.com slash Pacman and you'll get 60% off with the code Pacman. The link is down below.